A good meal can make a world of difference for your flocks, but so can a bad one. Hi, I'm Alyssa with Southland Organics, and today me and my friend Jason are going to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about feed, why it's important to keep it clean, and mycotoxins. <laughs> Okay, so a couple of tips to help manage your feed on catch night or when the birds leave. You wanna make sure that you empty out the feed lines. In between this feed bin and the far side of the feed line on the other side of that house, number two, is about 100 feet total in distance. We have quite a bit of distance that could be full of feed. It's important that you get those feed lines empty before the birds leave. If you leave that feed in there, there can be some big problems that go along with it. Also, if you'll just simply take your hammer, walk up to the feed bin and tap around the bin, give it a good whack to make sure that all the feed has fallen out of it and it's completely empty. There's a lot there that can help save you. Nobody needs to have moldy feed on the farm when your new baby chicks arrive. When the birds leave and the birds are gone, if you have any feed left in the feed bins, maybe you have a pickup truck that comes and picks them up, maybe you have to take the feed back yourself. If you have returned feed, it's important that you make sure that when it's dumped out of the bins, if you have a boot that's split, you make sure that both of them get gone because nobody wants to send um, your baby chicks starting out next flock, get them started with withdrawal, withdrawal feed. You want to make sure that you have fresh starter feed and no opportunity for feed to be left over setting those bins during out time. Standing feed, be it high in your grain bin or in your lines after withdrawal, is a great place for bacteria, fungus, and mold. Fungus and mold are known to produce mycotoxins, which are toxins that target tissues inside of your birds. That can mean anything from hemorrhages in the skin to gastrointestinal dysfunction, neither of which are a good thing on your farm. Birds with mycotoxicosis are known to stay away from feed, spend more time laying down, be less reactive when you walk into your house, and overall, just be lethargic and not feeling very well. That's because there's a lot of toxins moving through their body that they don't have the equipment to deal with. One of the things that you can do to help your birds get through those challenges is give them bacteria species in their gut with a probiotic to help them mitigate those toxins. These bacteria work in the gut break down the toxins, and make it to where they're metabolizable for the bird. That way, they aren't there harming them anymore. As always, thank you for watching. We are so happy to have you here for all of our content. If you have any questions, please reach out to Alan at SouthlandOrganics.com or give us a call at 800-608-3755.